Okay, this is a linear equation, but it looks a little bit tough because of all of those fractions. Well, I'm going to choose to multiply by the least common denominator and get rid of those fractions. So let's rewrite this. Uh, let's see, I will have x minus, now that's one third x, or I could just say x over three, minus one half x, that's x over two, minus eight equals zero. So once again, this is just, this is still one third x, just like that, it's still one half x. Now what is my least common denominator? I have this term, which is just over 1. This term is over 3. This term is over 2. This term is over 1. And of course, that is just 0 over 1. My least common denominator, 3 times 2, will be 6. So my least common denominator is 6. That is what will make this problem easier for me. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 6. Now you can think of this as two ways. You're going to multiply the left side by 6, and you're going to multiply the right side by 6. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And then we have to do a lot of distributive property on the left. Okay, I'm going to choose just to go ahead and do that distributive property. So 6 times the first term, 6 times the second term, 6 times that's the third term, six times the fourth term, and of course I already did six times the right side. So we get six times each term. That helps me avoid careless errors if I put six by each one of these. Well, let's do a little math. Six times x is six x. We have some canceling to do here. Three and six will cancel. So three will go into three one time, and three will go into six, two times. So that will be negative 2 times 1x. That will just be negative 2x. 6 and 2 will cancel. 2 will go into both of those. 2 will go into 2 one time. 2 will go into 6 three times. I'll have 3 times 1x. Don't forget your negative. Minus. Now we have nothing to cancel here. There's nothing in the denominator. So I just say 6 times 8. Don't forget to say 6 times 8. Remember, if you choose to multiply everything by 6, you have to multiply everything by 6. Do not leave anything off. And 0 times 6 is 0. Would you look how easy that problem is now? Let's combine our like terms. That will simply be x. So I, I will have x minus 48 equals 0. And you know what to do. You're going to add 48 to both sides, so x will equal 48. And of course, I should check my answer, but I didn't have any variables in the denominator. I didn't have any radicals involved, but if I check my answer, x equals 48 will make that equation true. Let's try one more. Okay, we have 16x minus 5 over 8x plus 3 equals 2 minus 5 over x. Wow, would you look at these fractions? I have three terms here. This first term looks a little ugly. It's big. It is over 8x plus 3. This second term, the 2, it just happens to be over 1. The third term is over x. I need to find my least common denominator. So I need an 8x plus 3. I don't really have to think about 1. And I also need an x. So my least common denominator is x times 8x plus 3. So I have to multiply that by every term in here. So let's rewrite our equation. So I do have 16x minus 5 over 8x plus 3 equals, I'm going to leave a little space, it equals to 2 minus 5 over x. Okay, so I need to multiply each side by the least common denominator, which is x times 8x plus 3. So you're going to multiply the left side, and you're going to multiply the right side. Now, in order to avoid careless errors, 
When I multiply this right side, since there's two terms, I'm going to go ahead and apply the distributive property and make sure I multiply this, the 2, times x times 8x plus 3, and the 5 over x times x times 8x plus 3. Are you ready? So I have to multiply the first term, which is quite large. Okay, so I have to multiply this first term by the least common denominator. I need to multiply this second term by the least common denominator. And I need to multiply the third term by the least common denominator. Well, let's do a little canceling. In this first term, the 8x plus 3 and the 8x plus 3 will cancel. I will have x times 16x minus 5. Make sure that you put that in parentheses. That is together. That is not 16x. That is not 5. That is 16x minus 5. Equals. Well, nothing cancels here. See, this is just over 1. So I just have to multiply that all together. So 2 times the x times the 8x plus 3. So that would be 2 times x times 8x plus 3. And the last term, it looks like the x's will cancel. And I will just have that negative 5 times 8x plus 3. Whew, okay. It took a little work, but look at there. We have no fractions. Okay, let's do some distributive property. So on the left side, I have x times 16x and x times negative 5. That will be 16x squared minus 5x. On the right side, I will have 2x times 8x and 2x times 3. I will also have negative 5 times 8x and negative 5 times 3. That is not 5, that is a negative 5. So 2x times 8x is 16x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x. Now negative 5 times 8x is negative 40x. And negative 5 times 3 is a negative 15. Okay, it looks like we have some like terms that we can simplify. On the left side, I will still have 16x squared minus 5x. On the right side, I will have 16x squared. Positive 6x and a negative 40x is a negative 34x. We have minus 15. Now when I first look at this problem, I think, oh, that's a quadratic equation because I see that squared. So I think, oh, I have to get everything on one side and solve the quadratic equation. But watch what happens. When I go to get rid of this 16x squared, it's being added. So I'm going to subtract it. And whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. What happens? The 16x squares canceled out on the left and the right. I don't have any x squareds. This is actually not quadratic. This is linear. So I have negative 5x equals, on the right side, I will have negative 34x minus 15. And now we're down to a simple linear equation. Let's get our variables on the left. So I'm going to add 34x. But whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. On the left side, negative 5x and a positive 34x. That will be 29x equals, and on the right side, the 34x and the negative 34x will cancel. I will have negative 15. And now I will divide both sides by 29. Your answer is negative 15 over 29.